Our top story tonight, former House Majority Leader Tom DeLay is convicted of money laundering and conspiracy charges. KV's Jade Mingus is live at the Travis County Justice Complex. Jade? Well, Terry, Tom DeLay had tears in his eyes when he walked outside the courtroom visibly shaken up. His attorney says they plan to appeal. This is an abuse of power. It's a miscarriage of justice. And, and, um, and I still maintain uh, uh, that I am innocent, that uh, the criminalization of politics undermines our very system, and, um, I, and I'm very disappointed. Now, lead prosecutor Gary Cobb said today after the verdict that DeLay was a corrupt politician and jurors saw him for what he was. District Attorney Rosemary Lindbergh says this trial was about showing no one was above the law, no matter how powerful. This case is a message from the citizens of the state of Texas that the public officials they elect to represent them must do so honestly and ethically, and if not, they'll be held accountable. Now, DeLay faces life in prison. Presiding Judge Pat Priest will decide that punishment. KVU political reporter Martin Bartlett joins us now. And, Martin, this trial was a lot about redistricting. That's about to be a major issue coming up. It is the judge in this case tentatively set, uh, set a sentencing date for the end of December, just a couple of weeks before the legislative session opens up, just a few blocks from where we're standing. And redistricting is set yet again to be on the agenda in a very contentious legislative session. Now, you heard the district attorney say a lot of this was about sending a message. And political insiders I've talked to say this conviction of a Republican, Tom DeLay, coupled with a conviction of a state representative a couple of weeks ago, a Democrat from the Rio Grande Valley, sends a very strong message to legislators that their actions in the next session will be very closely watched. Well, thanks for your inside, Martin. And again, Tom DeLay's trial, his punishment phase, is expected to begin December 20th. Reporting live from the Travis County Justice Complex, Jade Mingus, KVU News.